well, you could have knocked me down with a feather when I got uh, contacted by the NLA a couple of months ago to let me know that, well, to ask me whether I would consider um, being the new Londoner of the Year. Um, and I just want to thank the NLA, the board, Peter, uh, for the award, but also for everything the NLA does for the built environment in London. Um, and they also asked me to talk about identity because it's been the recent LFA theme. Um, and it made me think about London and why I love it. I love London. I'm obviously not from London, like probably a, a lot of people in this room. Um, I love it. I love working in London and I love doing the work I do in London. And the reason for that, when I think of the jobs that I've had, I've worked in Hammersmith and Fulham, I've worked in Camden, I've worked in Islington, I've worked in uh, Newham, I've worked in Lambeth and my beloved Croydon now. Um, and what I love about London is that it's a place of different identities. It's not just one, it's many. Every neighbourhood is different. I've worked as in local government and I've worked in the voluntary sector. Every single place that I've worked in is different. And that's what I love about it. My own identity, immigrant stock, obviously, with a name like Negrini Negroni, Negrini Negroni. <laughs> Peter named a uh, cocktail after me. I was quite impressed by that. Um, my dad was an Italian immigrant, worked at Ford in a place very similar to Dagenham in Sydney. I bet you thought it was all about beaches in Sydney. Well, it's not. I grew up in the suburbs, like most people do. Um, my identity here uh, as an immigrant to London and what London has done for me has provided me with the most amazing opportunities. Absolutely the most incredible opportunity. You know, if I was thinking when I was leaving Sydney that I would be here in front of all of you, the decision makers, the policy makers, the designers, the local, my local government brethren everywhere, you know, all of the public sector people in this room. I would, have no, I would never have believed this. And I, and I think what's very interesting for me is that my identity at my core is about, pub, is about public service. And that really drives why I do what I do. And for all of the local government people, the GLA teams, all of the councillors in the room, all of us are in it because we choose to be in it because it's important and it's important to, to the city. And I think things are really, really changing in London. Regeneration is not the word it used to be. It's seen very negatively by people across the city. And I think for me, you know, when people come through our door to talk to us about developments, our role as public service people is to make sure we get the right development for London. And then what we do with our decision making at planning is create the balance. We are the honest brokers. Don't moan to us when we ask for affordable housing or for health centers or schools or contributions towards transport and infrastructure. That's right. But I think we can change what people think about regeneration if every single person in this room asked themselves one question when they were going to start a project. And that question is, what impact will that development have on the people that live there now? Not just the new people you're building for, but the people who live there now, the identity of that place, the identity of those communities that live in that area. That's what's important. That's why we do what we do. Things are really changing. Local government is changing so quickly. Who would have thought so many local councils would win awards at the NLA? Hats off to you, teams. Fantastic. You know, who would have thought that nearly, you know, how many councils have now got their own development companies who are setting standards for the type of housing and development we want to see in our boroughs. So to all of you, 
We, are, we have the biggest responsibility. It's a huge responsibility doing what we do. But we've got to work together to create the right place to really make sure that we don't lose the identity of our communities and our neighbourhoods in our places across the capital. So I'm going to finish, and I've got to just mention one last thing about Croydon. In the press release that was being announced, it was about changing the image of Croydon. Croydon doesn't need to change its image. Croydon is a fantastic place. The whole of outer London is very, very special, and actually, London needs outer London now more than they've ever needed it before. So we demand quality, as do all the outer London boroughs. And, you know, this is not a, an individual, you know, this is not about me in Croydon. It's the politicians, it's Tony Newman, the leader, Alison Butler, the deputy leader. It's all of my fantastic team, but, but not just my regen team. It's my children's services teams, it's my adult services teams, my enforcement teams, my planners. They all have a role to play in the regeneration of Croydon. So I thank them. I thank the NLA again. I thank London, because I have had the most brilliant, brilliant life here. And I thank everyone at Croydon and everyone that works in public service. Thank you very much.